Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I want to check out uh, Lethal's A266 host. Um, I've already got it done and I have my uh, A266 turned on. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. We'll go ahead and get logged in. Go over to our settings. Go into our network. Go ahead and make sure connect to the internet is checked. And we'll go into set up internet connection. Go ahead with Wi-Fi. We'll go with Custom. Give it a few moments here to load the Wi-Fi connections. And it's right here at the top, Leafful 900v4. Go ahead and select it. And our password for this host is 12345678. Go ahead and hit OK. We'll give it a few moments here. Shouldn't take long at all. Okay, and IP address will go with automatic. Do not specify. DNS, we can go ahead and select manual. Uh, MTU settings automatically and do not use. And we don't really need to test it as uh, we shouldn't be connected anyway. So we'll go ahead and just back out of there. And we'll go up to our user guide. Go ahead and select it. And we'll give it a few moments here just to load up. It should automatically redirect. Okay, Lethal's 9.00 test 4.0. Okay, cached it, index. Okay, so it looks like it's caching it. 25%, 75 is going pretty quick. And 100%. Okay, running the web kit, please wait. Okay, 11 seconds. Go ahead and insert the USB. Okay, we'll wait for the message to pop up on supported file system. There we go. We'll go ahead and hit OK. Click OK to continue. And Goal 10 2.0 loaded. So let's go ahead and unplug our USB as we don't need it anymore. Uh, you can see that uh, you can also send payloads on port 9020 now. That's open. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. Go over to our settings. You can see that Gold 10 is here. We can go ahead and enable our FTP server as well as our bin loader server. And uh, yeah, I know a lot of you guys ask if there's any other payloads with this. It's just the uh, it's just the jailbreak. Um, there's lots of other hosts you can go ahead and load now and just use the payloads from them if that's what you want. There's payload guess you can go ahead and install that package. Um, yeah there's multiple ways you can use Netcat to send over a payload if you want something something ran but uh, yeah let's go ahead and just test rest mode out. Go ahead and hit our power options and we'll go into rest mode. Give it a few moments here to shut down. It shouldn't take too long at all. It's currently uh, pulse and white. Okay, still pulsing the white color. Okay, we just switched over to our amber color. Now it's pulsing amber. Okay, this shouldn't be too much longer and it should go solid. Okay, so it's gone solid now. What I'm going to do is turn the power on by hitting the PlayStation button on the controller. Okay, I did hear the PlayStation make the beep noise. It went uh, solid blue, and now it's pulsing blue. So it is booting up. Okay, and there's our screen. And we can go ahead and log in. Then we'll go over to our settings. I will show you that we do have the Goal 10 options as well as we do have a debug settings. So that's basically it for the video, guys. I just want to jump on, give that a test. 
Um, I will leave links in the description if you want to go ahead and download that there bin file. If you do have the ESP8266, I'll also leave the link to the one I'm using if you want to go ahead and buy one. They are very cheap and they are very convenient. There's no worry about uh, ever getting any updates because um, it's just connected to that little module and you can basically unplug it and go ahead and update it and do the same process all over again. But yeah, I, I'm going to leave the video at that. If you did like it, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.